All hail the low cleaners! <laughs> so, did you do for him? I did. For 40 years, no musing slid out of my net, no idle thought or pithy clinker. Sounds a bloody hard job, that. Uh, mm -hmm. Low cleaner to a lofty thinker. But at least no nasal hair or ears. Trim them himself twice daily with the garden shears. Sometimes he made me watch. But only when he feared a revelation might escape, and then I'd feel them as they drifted downwards, having sifted through the beard. <laughs> was there plenty mopping, too? Oh, there was. He'd drift in dogma on his shoe and trail across my nice clean hall, all deep in meditation. Oh, I wish you were as deep, dear, as your sodding crenellations I've been muttering as I followed, kneeling with a brush and bowl. What's crenellations, anyway? Oh, you know, ridges on the soul. And then one day I heard him shout. He'd got a great thought stuck and couldn't get it out. Well, I'm not supposed to touch those. So I thought I'd scare it in. I didn't know it would explode when I bashed it with the biscuit tin, but off it went and blew as high. Lord bless my soul, I've time to cry. No, no, he said, your God is dead, you're done for me, and now we die. It must be cheesed off now. He is still sulking on the pearly stairs. He says he made his mind up once, and now it isn't fair. I expect he's scared to meet him face to face in case God gloats. Hmm. Now you're low cleaner to the Lord. I am, praise be. He floats 